why do they design hairbrush handles like this? It's like they know. It's like they know what I'm going to do with the hairbrush handle. That's nasty. Can you imagine how many random foreign objects have been in the average chick you come across in the world? But they would call me the sicko for even posing that question. God, you're sick. Her friends come over like, hey girl, can I use your brush? No, no, not that one. Not that one. Let me get you another one. Disgusting. I have had this bar of soap sitting in my bathroom for ages waiting to be used. And I'm kind of over my body wash. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that bar of soap out. I unwrapped it, started rubbing it on my body. And I was like, this does not feel like soap. This is not soapy. I got this in a PR package with like a yellow butter looking bag. It's a block of butter. Like I started smelling it and I was like, is it a soap bar that smells like butter? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. What would you do with a brain if you had one? Okay, I don't know what's more stupid. That she used something that wasn't soap for soap or the fact that she thinks that's butter. Or is it the fact that the first thing she thought of to do after this conundrum happened was to post it on the internet in a towel of all things? No, it's it's butter that's been sitting in my cupboard. I'm pretty sure that's a candle, ma'am. Can you imagine reproducing with this? Can you imagine someone like this raising your young ones and teaching them, supposed to be teaching them? Hell no! She can vote. Just keep that in mind. This woman right here can vote for who the president of the United States is, the leader of the free world. And I'm sure there's plenty of men that this woman looks down on with the IQ of a rock. This is the most brilliant approach to how you handle the check. If you're out on a date with someone and they want to go 50-50 with you, you go, oh my gosh, I am so embarrassed. I totally thought this was a date. I didn't realize you just wanted to be friends. Oh my gosh, like take my card. Total misunderstanding on my end. You know that that anger you get when you deal with like a person that's just completely stupid. What's wrong with your brain? Like, like why do you not see what you are? <laughs> like, and I get there with women. Like, like I, I truly do. Well, I'm pretty sure the guy will feel like he dodged the bullet since you're being such a K U N T about it. You're being such a snobby, rude, smart ass about it. So he'll let you pay and then never talk to you again. See, these are the type of women who feel like they don't really have to contribute anything other than their box. And it's just not true. Ladies, please don't take this advice. It's going to keep you single with her, which is what she really wants, so you can keep commenting on her post. Nothing humbles a woman faster than checking her hinge likes. As in, who liked her? As in, oh, 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 you thought you had a chance with me. And I'm like, I'm no model, but come on. They all think there's some special thing. Oh entity on this planet that was god's gift to the planet i mean what would the purpose be of making a tiktok like this i mean i guess there's a bunch of other idiot women who will like it and say yes queen in the comment section but are videos like this supposed to make men who you do like find you appealing do they not realize that even top tier chad will find this off-putting and not want to f with you I mean, your looks is the reason why he probably wouldn't want to F with you initially. But even if he had a weird thing for goofy looking chicks, this would definitely disqualify you. But they're not smart enough to know that. Hate to break it to you, toots. That's your level. Whatever guy swiped on you, that's probably the guys you qualify for. So just stay single, please. Do you really think, you know, top tier guys would date a chick seriously who dressed like that? <laughs> Somebody done told you wrong. What the hell do you have on? Did you just come from painting or something? Like, what's going on? I mean, if you're going to get on the internet and talk, at least come top notch with clothes, if nothing else. I know you can't help how you look, but you can help how you dress. I think the just got a lot of fucking dacity. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning into today's episode. I got into a conversation with a few guy friends of mine. And they're like, oh, I want a good woman. I want a good woman. You know, it's so hard to find good women these days. I think y'all want good women until you guys find out it requires for you to be a better man. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, ma'am, are you suggesting that you're a good woman? Are you trying to imply something? Look, I highly doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. Women who get on the internet and try to shame men are not good women. I don't need to know anything else about you. That's all I need to know. No, you ain't talking. You? What? Look who's talking. And honestly, this probably isn't even something that really happened to her in real life. 
She probably just heard another girl say this on another TikTok. I wouldn't be surprised at all. She can't come up with a genuine thought. <laughs> it's, it's damn near impossible. Where's your man at, lady? She's definitely projecting. I mean, I highly doubt she could keep a good man around. I highly doubt that. <laughs> See, that's where women actually struggle. Looking cute and getting the guy to want to holler the first five minutes, fine. But keeping the guy around for five years, that's where pretty much every woman struggles. Keeping a guy that they respect around for five years. It's not going to happen. So it turns out that I just can't handle my alcohol. I was absolutely blackout. We went back to this guy's apartment, me and my friend. She was friends with his friend. Um, I woke up in the morning, didn't know where I was. She came back, saw me on the couch. I was like, what the f And then she explained everything to me. I grabbed my stuff. I left. But last night I was going through all my photos from the weekend because I went to a list now and I found a photo of me and him midway through like, you know, and it's like a mirror angle. I'm like taking it when I'm on the bed. I would be so good if I could post it. Obviously, I have to ask his permission, but I don't know who he is, but <laughs> maybe I should message him. Hey, I like that dog. You know what I'm saying? It's just running wild. Alcoholics Anonymous. It works. Look us up in the phone book. You know, who's going to pay for all this therapy in 10 and 20 years? Like, seriously, can you imagine the type of women we're going to have to interact with in 10 to 20 years when these women's looks fade? They're going to be ringing you out at Walmart. They're going to be being rude to you in the McDonald's driveway. They're going to be causing drama at your job. They're going to be causing drama at the library, causing drama at the party. Everywhere you go, you're not going to be able to escape all the chaos they're going to bring. Well, I don't know what I'm scared of. But I know that I am scared. We're all in for a rough one this next 30 to 40 years. You can tell a lot about a man's character based on these two actions alone. So listen up. The first, how does he speak about his mother, right? The relationship around that woman figure doesn't have to be just the mom because not everybody's mom is alive. Could be the grandmother, the auntie. The relationship around the woman who raised him. Pay attention to how he treats the most important woman in his life. It's really no comparison because most of you modern women don't compare to the women, you know, of yesteryear. So it doesn't matter how much he loves his mother and how good he talk about her or his grandmother or his sister. You're probably nothing like them. I'm sure those people done things for him in his life, actually helped him out when he was down and out. But they expect to just come into a man's life and be put on that type of pedestal just the first week or two. It's ridiculous. Before marriage, this is going to be a really, really big indicator of his character. Does he show her the respect that she has earned in his life? Or is he really quick to dismiss his mom's calls? Does he badmouth his mom to you? Does he curse at her? If that's the case, run, babe. Right, because you have experience with these type of guys. Scumbag type of guys who curse their mom out. I mean, look, women have no idea what good character is. I mean, just don't take advice from them. They don't know. And I'm not talking about the mama's boys, okay? I'm talking about the men who value and appreciate the woman in their lives because it's going to be a really big indicator of how he will treat his future wife. Well, we all know treating your wife like gold gets you divorced, played, and cheated on. It sounds good, lady. It really sounds good. But do you think this woman, she's an attractive woman, do you think she truly appreciates guys who treat women like diamonds and gold? Or does she appreciate getting treated like sh by the bad boy because it turns her on? And I'll also say the more attractive a woman is, the less likely she truly appreciates good guys. Usually the average looking women or below average looking women or the chubby women are the ones who really appreciate the good guys. Because they're wonderful people? And eh, maybe not. Maybe it's just because they know that's what they qualify for. And the hot bad boys aren't checking for them. So they just learn to live with it. The second thing that'll show you a lot about the character is how they speak about their ex. When a man openly talks about his ex, like in a bad way, even if he's saying you're so much better than her, that comparison is a red flag. And it's a big indicator that he's not 100% over her. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I hope this camera keep going. No, we're going to let the camera keep true. going. This is not true. One of the reasons why women don't like that men talk bad about their ex, because women know that most women are alike. She knows that all the things you're saying bad about her are really her characteristics as well. So she's thinking to herself, oh, he's going to break up with me when I start showing him my real self too. If some guy like, oh yeah, my ex was crazy. She did X, Y, and Z. She did this. She did that. She's thinking, oh wait, I've done all those things and I've acted like that plenty of times. You got me now. You got me now. 
You got me now, all you figured me out. Her speaks down on her name, consistently always has something negative to say about her, something he didn't like. The woman that he once loved, the woman he once adored, the woman that he brought to his inner circle and family, now he's turning around and bad-mouthing her. What makes you think that he wouldn't turn around and do that to you at one point? I told you so. He should to say that about a woman. Why can't you say women are wrong when they're wrong? You want to be making moves on the street? attachments allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat okay first of all i didn't miss the red flags i looked at them and thought damn that's sexy and that's my problem 